Good morning guys! I am completely barefaced and I'm loving it because I feel confident as hell. Yes, I don't even know I felt the need to say that. Welcome to today's video. I'm doing a full day of eating, like fully updated guys, because the past three weeks, I since I got back from the Rose Retreat, I have not tracked macros a single day since then and I've truly broken up with dieting. I'm like just living life, still being super healthy because that's how I enjoy to eat and that's how I feel the best, but not restricting myself. And if Ryan wants to go get ice cream, like we'll go get ice cream. Or if I'm craving a brownie, like I'm gonna buy some brownies. And just learning to truly balance, not like this fake balance where you're like, yeah, like balance, I'm gonna have one cheat meal a week. Like, no, like actually just listening to your body and not even just intuitive eating, but just like living, like just living and eating to be a human. Like I always kind of, I use this example with my clients, trying to get back to that mindset you were in when you were in middle school. Like think about middle school you. You didn't give a crap about food. You didn't care what you ate. You'd go to your friend's house and you'd smash a pizza and then you'd eat a whole pan of brownies and you'd wake up the next morning and you wouldn't have any food guilt. At least I know I haven't and like most people weren't. Like maybe you'd had food issues back then, but I know like maybe go back to like, I guess when you were a kid, like you didn't care. We didn't care about that. We just ate when we were hungry. We stopped when we were full. We were able to listen to our bodies and we didn't have all these like food issues. So we're trying to get to back to that mentali mentality, but just being a little bit more healthy about it. So instead of eating a whole pizza and smashing a whole pan of brownies, like being able to have a delicious, healthy, balanced dinner and then be able to like have some ice cream too and not feel bad about it. So this is gonna be a full day of eating with food freedom and just like how I'm eating right now. And I'm also gonna kind of run you through what I did for my morning routine because I've had a lot of people asking me about like what I do and how I, whatever, how that all works. So that's gonna be it. Um, cue the intro, let's get started. I look a little bit different now. I put some makeup on. Um, okay, so I'm gonna run you through what I have had so far to eat, um, cause I like had this idea after I had back breakfast. So I'm gonna show you guys that and then I'm gonna run you guys through my morning routine and how I set it up for success and like get me into a good workflow. So first things first. Started my morning out with these new yogurts. They're like my absolute favorite. They're so good. They have like 15 grams of protein and like they're just so delicious. So I had one of these with this is my favorite granola. Look how many chocolate chunks are in there. Like, wow. So I had this as my like breakfast, mini breakfast. I also had some coffee, which this stuff was only $6 and it's really good. So I got one of these and um, yeah, so that was like my, I, I get, I'm like really hungry in the morning, like right when I wake up. So I have my coffee and if that doesn't like fill me up or like satisfy it, then I have the yogurt and granola. And then I have like a second breakfast after. <laughs> This is what I've been doing for the past like two weeks. So when I have my second breakfast, I will show you what it is. And yeah, that's that's my like how I start my morning. Like first thing off is like everybody needs coffee, right? Okay, so morning routine. So the first thing I do literally every morning is I wake up, I check my phone, I quickly do like a 10 minute catch up on my phone because a lot of people will say like, don't look at your phone for the first half an hour. For me, like I can't focus on doing my morning routine if I were to do that because I'd just be like thinking about my phone and like what notifications I had or if anything crazy happened overnight, like I have to just get it out like in five minutes, just like quickly check everything, make sure I'm good. And then I put my phone down and I put my headphones in and I put on either an audiobook or a podcast or something. I've been loving the audiobooks for like my morning routine because it's like every single morning I'm like reading or whatever. And then I use podcasts when I'm driving or when I'm going on walks or whatever. So right now I just finished the book Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. It's amazing. If you guys are looking for self-development books, self-growth, self-love books, like listen or read to it. It's incredible. And audiobooks have honestly changed my life because I refuse to read. Like I just don't like it. I won't do it. It's like one of those things where like I would try and set these goals for myself to read and I just... I wasn't enjoying it, so I wasn't really taking in the information and like using it to the best of my ability. So I started listening to books and it has changed my life because I love listening to podcasts. I was like, why not listen to books? So I finished Girl, Wash Your Face in like three days and now I'm listening to a book called um, The Universe Has Your Back by Gabrielle Bernstein. And this one is also like a self-development one, but it's more spiritual, which I'm really like interested in right now. So I think that it's gonna be really good. I'm only on chapter two, but um, that's like the very first thing I do. And I make my bed, like 
literally every morning I make my bed because I feel unorganized if I don't. So that has to be done. And I just kind of like pick up my room a little bit, make sure it's like pretty clean and yeah. After that, I, this is like, I'm listening to the audiobook while I'm doing all of this. So after that, I go like obviously brush my teeth, like just kind of like get myself ready for the day. I usually don't do my makeup like right away. I'll just kind of like stay bare face, but put some lotion on or whatever. And I will go make my coffee. I'll go make my breakfast part one that you guys saw. And um, I love to clean my house in the morning. Like I can't have a productive day if I don't have a productive space. So for me, like having a clean space makes me have like a clean mind. And it's the perfect time to do it while I'm listening to my book. So I'll I'll go load the dishwasher, I'll go put laundry on, I'll pick up just like random things. So if like if I go to bed at night and it's kind of like messy, I kind of honestly like it because then I know I can clean in the morning and I have stuff to clean while I listen to my book. So once everything's clean, obviously I live in a small apartment, so if you live in a huge house, you're not gonna be able to clean everything, but maybe like just do the kitchen in the morning or pick up your bedroom or the living room or something, like pick one room. It doesn't have to be like clean your whole house. So once I do that, then I usually will sit down, eat um, my breakfast, part one, <laughs> and drink my coffee, and I will journal. So let me show you guys my journal. I've never sat at this table before until this morning. So I'm gonna start writing here every morning. This is my little journal, and um, I don't know, like I always heard, heard people would say like, oh yeah, journaling, and I'd never know what they meant, so I just wouldn't do it. So like, I'm just gonna tell you like very briefly what I mean when I say like, I journal. So I literally write down anything I want anything that is in my head anything that I'm thinking it just let it flow do not judge any thoughts that get put on the paper don't like try and make it some pretty little thing don't make it super consistent literally just use it as a dumping ground for your brain so that you can then go on with your day and have a clear kind of thought process in your head so I journal for just like five to ten minutes whatever I got to say that day then I go sit outside if it's like nice out I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do in the winter but um, I go sit outside and I kind of just start working. And at that point, I have literally cleaned my house. I've had a good like little breakfast, like I got coffee in me. I've listened to a really good book. I, I'm ready to freaking grind. Like I'm motivated, I just feel good. So my thing with morning routines that I do just wanna quickly say before we go on to the rest of the full day of eating, you don't have to do all of this. I'm very lucky, I work at home, I work for myself, I can create my own routine. But some people, have to go work out at 4 a.m. before work or some people have kids or whatever like you may not have all this time so pick one thing as long as you just have one thing that you can do every day for yourself like what is the least you can do for yourself every single day that will literally just set you up for greatness so that may be just like sitting down and drinking your cup of coffee and enjoying that cup of coffee and not scrolling through Facebook while you're drinking it and like being like consumed with just like social media maybe that's cleaning your kitchen or maybe that's making a good breakfast or maybe that is journaling or maybe it's meditating or manifesting or whatever it looks like for you maybe it's doing your makeup and actually taking your time and like being able to like do it nicely and like look pretty and feel good um and while you're doing that by the way listen to a podcast <laughs> um so yeah it doesn't have to be this crazy elaborate routine and it doesn't even have to be the same every day sometimes so a lot of days actually every day my morning routine changes and i it, it's like it, it's not set in stone so remember that when you're kind of coming up with one or like trying to find a good one that is my morning routine that's what i like to do that's my advice for it and now let's get to the rest of the full day of eating I want that forever love for the moment and all your pain to be broken See when I look in that smile, all your beauty is spoken I love the vibes that you carry, I see the spark of your motion And when I see that you're down, I put the waves in your ocean I'll be the first to admit, I know I have a lot of flaws But nothing you couldn't fix, you're gorgeous From your mind to your heart, straight to your hips I want that never ending ride, so baby get with the script we're on a different route. Show me what you're all about. Tears coming from your heart. Shorty, I can cause a drought. See, I am with okay, so I want to explain something to you guys that has helped me tremendously when it comes to just like feeling more normal around food. Um, my breakfast. I had the granola and the yogurt, and I'm having this, but I used to. So, back up. Granola and cereal is literally my favorite food ever, and I used to not buy granola or cereal. I'd buy it maybe once a month. And then every time I'd buy it, I would literally eat it in like two days, like the granola and the cereal. I would just like overconsume, go way too hard. And then I would get mad at myself and I wouldn't buy it then because I'd be like, well, if I don't buy it, then I won't eat it. And I thought that that was balance. But <laughs> what I came to find out is that like, you shouldn't ever have that feeling of like extreme, like I need this, like I need to eat all of it right now. Like that's not normal. So what I did, and it was definitely hard the first two weeks, but I really like urge you to try and do this. Um, 
if there's any food that you feel like you cannot control yourself around, um, so you just don't buy it, buy it. And for the first few weeks, yes, you may not be able to control yourself. You may overeat it. You may be frustrated and be like, this isn't working. But if you keep buying it and keep having it in your house or in your apartment or whatever, it doesn't become such of a luxury. It doesn't become so like oh, special. And so then you become, to, you feel more normal around it and you don't feel like you have to eat everything because it's always there and you can always have it. So it's not like, because when you buy it every once in a while, it's such a luxury and it's such a one-off thing that you just feel like you have to have all of it. So instead of never buying it, buy it all the time and have it because at the end of the day like that's one of your favorite foods like granola is literally my favorite food so why would i want to live a life where i don't get to eat my favorite food because i can't control myself around it so i buy it all the time now and now i feel like i have full control around it because it's always there it's not like i'm not i don't have this like euphoric feeling around it so that is one of my little tips to help you with like just gaining more food freedom and gaining more control around food all right pre-workout slash mini lunch it is just a wrap with some turkey, American cheese, real American cheese, not the fake like low fat cheese, um, lettuce and tomato. So um, yes, I said real American cheese, not the low fat, low whatever. It is the real stuff because that's what I genuinely love. And so I'd rather have one piece of that than like a bunch of like low calorie stuff. I'm gonna have this, I'm going to go to the gym, and then when I get back, I'll probably have like lunch part two. If you haven't caught like how I like to eat, I like to have little things often because I'm hungry all the time. So I find that that way of eating just like helps me stay full longer. Also having this cup of cereal before I go. Does anybody else eat their cereal like this? I was still a little bit hungry and this is before my workout. So I'm having this too. Okay, I'm back from the gym and I, well, gym and I got my nails done and it took about like three hours, but it's fine. So I'm absolutely starving right now. You guys should be very proud of me for picking up my camera right now and not just running to the fridge. I'm, that's like my downfall with full day of eatings. I'm always like way too hungry or just like way too eager that I forget to actually record, but I'm doing it this time. I am going to make a like healthy taco with like lean turkey, lettuce, tomato, sour cream, avocado, all that jazz. And then while I'm making it, I'm going to eat some hummus and crackers. And I'm gonna show you guys the hummus I like and the crackers I've been digging. So these are the crackers that I've been loving. Those, and then I like this spicy hummus. Yes. And then I'm gonna have this turkey with just some tomato, avocado, salsa, and some light sour cream. Alright guys, so I went on a much needed walk and I'm back. It's like 8 o'clock now and I am going to make some chicken, rice, and I have like these veggie tater tots. Let me show you. These things are so... I can open them. They're so good. Highly, highly recommended. And then... Me and this amazing pint of Halo Top are going to sit on the couch and watch TV and do a little bit more work before Monday grind begins. So without further ado, without further ado, without further ado, without further ado, that is the full day of eating with food freedom. I'm probably gonna have about, I think there's like half this pint left. There's about half the pint left. I'm gonna have half this. And um, I might, sometimes I get really, really hungry before I go to bed. So I'll have like a little bowl of cereal just like so I'm not, not able to sleep but it kind of just depends. So that's basically like what I do. I hope you guys enjoyed the tips. I hope you guys enjoyed the tips for morning routines. And, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do encourage you to start like chasing for food freedom because I literally cannot tell you it's the best feeling ever. And keep in mind that this looks different for everyone. Like my food freedom and like what I eat is good for me and what may work for you may be completely different. It may be way more unhealthy and like that may feel really good for you and that's awesome. Or it may be way more healthy and like when you do that, you still are allowed to be free and you like feel great. That's awesome. Everybody has their own definition of food freedom and everybody has the right to eat literally whatever they want. This is just like what I've been eating and what has been working for me right now and I don't feel like I'm restricting myself and I feel truly balanced for the first time in my life. That's my full day of eating. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.